So Autocratic and RPG Brigade's RPG A Day project has come and gone. 31 questions for 31 days throughout the month of August. It's good to have gotten back into it after skipping out last year due to circumstance. That said, some of the questions were trickier this year than others. Plus there was that one instance where I had to do two in one day because I mistimed it. Obviously, these are all just my own opinions at the moment. But in keeping with the ethos of my channel, I've put in an additional challenge. No question can be answered with D&D or Pathfinder. But with that intro out of the way, here's my answers to those 31 questions for your gaming month. What published RPG do you wish you were playing right now? The Genesis, a primal punk child of Stalker and Mutant Chronicles. What is an RPG you would like to see published? The Souls series and Bloodborne. I know Souls is a board game and Bloodborne a card game, but I think there's too much potential for an RPG to just ignore. How do you find out about new RPGs? Honestly? A bunch of different sites. Which RPG have you played the most since August 2016? Numenera. And for God's sake, Varric, keep it in your pants! Which RPG cover best captures the spirit of the game? Fight. The fighting game RPG. Because it tells you exactly what it's selling just from that cover. You can game every day for a week. Describe what you do. I'd want to run the War of the Burning Sky campaign. That's one to spend on the back burner for a while. What was your most impactful RPG session? That'd be the Bride of the Lotus Blossom mini that was run for Tenra Bancho Zero. What is a good RPG to play for sessions of two hours or less? A three-way tie between Warrior, Rogue, and Mage, Dungeon Slayers, and Anima Prime. What is a good RPG to play for about ten sessions? Pendragon, especially with the Campaign Companion. Where do you go for RPG reviews? A lot of different blogs, including Philippine Gamer, The Gentleman's Guide, and Wine and Savages. Most unread blog as well, but that one's on hiatus. Which dead game would you like to see reborn? The Saga System, which was used in Dragonlance Fifth Age and the Marvel Adventure game. Which RPG has the most inspiring interior art? That's a tie between Anima, Beyond Fantasy, and Exalted. Describe a game experience that changed how you play. Riddle of Steel. The first time I played that changed how I approached melee combat in games. Which RPG do you prefer for open-ended campaign play? Mystic Imperium since the world is much of a created character as the PCs are. Which RPG do you enjoy adapting the most? Another two-way tie, this time between Mastercraft, i.e. Spycraft and Fantasycraft, and the Cortex Plus system. Which RPG do you enjoy using as is? Anima Prime. Which RPG have you owned the longest but not played? Egone. I might run it in the future if I can find an English PDF to use with my players. Which RPG have you played the most in your life? That'd be Exalted. Which RPG features the best writing? Legend of the Five Rings, especially 3rd and 4th edition, pound for pound. What is the best source for out-of-print RPGs? Noble Knight Games. A few items I've reviewed on this channel have come from there. Which RPG does the most with the least words? That distinction goes to... Badass. Which RPGs are the easiest for you to run? There's too many to count, so in lieu of that, I'll say any game with a unified mechanic for die rolling. Which RPG has the most jaw-dropping layout? Although I have no plans to run it anytime soon, Aorus Essence. Share a PWYW publisher who should be charging more. I'm gonna pass on this one because there's just way too many variables. If you're curious, look at the pay what you want listing on DriveThruRPG. There's a few gems in there. What is the best way to thank your GM? There's a lot of ways, but the biggest one? Don't be that guy. Ever. No matter what happens. Which RPG provides the most useful resources? I'd say the Adventure Conqueror King system, or Axe. Probably the best retro clone I've ever played. And that's saying some, because I'm not usually a fan of retro clones. What are your essential tools for good gaming? Cards. Lots and lots of cards, whether they be playing cards or index cards. What film slash series is the biggest source of quotes in your group? This one's a bit of a grab bag, because everybody's got their gimmicks. So focusing on just one thing would be kind of seeing the forest for the trees. What has been the best run RPG Kickstarter you have backed? Luminous Echo. Although technically it's the only one that I've backed. What is an RPG genre mashup you would most like to see? I'd love to see a mashup of Wuxia Fiction and Diesel Punk. What do you anticipate most for gaming in 2018? The Iron Sky RPG. 
It's just absurd enough to work, but the concept of a D-1000 is giving me flashbacks to the game that shall not be named. And there you have it. 31 questions for 31 days. I look forward to doing this next year. Until then, my name is Mildra. I'm your gaming monk. Stay fucking frosty, everybody.